Hello everyone, we're at the Rum Point Club residency, which is part of the Rum Point Club Resort in Grand Cayman, which is the largest of the Cayman Islands in the Caribbean. And we're here for four nights, Jill and myself, and we're going to show you some of the facilities of the resort and also the lovely, luxurious condominium that we're staying in. So we're just walking to the front of the building now. Entering the reception now, as you can see, it's quite luxurious. We've got um, nice chairs and sofas in front of us. And on the right here, we've got some shelving with books and lovely ornaments. Go around here. This is the lobby bar where you can have breakfast, uh, lunchtime meal, and an evening meal. They're open from 8 o'clock in the morning till 9 o'clock most nights. I do like the nice lighting in here with the disc shaped lights that they've got in the ceiling. And we're going out into the into the terrace. And you've got a lovely decking area here with nice seating, tables and chairs, and a lovely leisure pool here, and lovely view of the ocean. It's quite quiet this time of the year, it's not high season, I believe it gets busy around about the end of November, beginning of December, when we have Thanksgiving. beds and seats and parasols. And we're here for four nights as part of our honeymoon. Residencies has quite a small private beach.
building and to the third floor where our condo is. Give you a Time is looking out to to the ocean. to the elevator now which will take up to the third floor Thank you. Thank you very much. No, Coming to the lovely luxurious condo we're staying in. It's number 307 where we're staying. And as you come in on the right, so really funky light lamp which um, is rather nice it uh, revolves you've got things that turn discs that turn around on it looks really good and you've got uh, you know, some chocolates for us on the on the counter here that's so rather rather nice <laughs> And as we go further in, another impressive thing that you can see is in the front of us, there's some um, chandelier lighting, which is made up of disc shape lights, which looks really interesting. And then we've got lots of covered space in the condo as well. There's crockery and all sorts of things in this one and again and we have a really big refrigerator chest freezer that opens up as well and another little cupboard here on the side which is a, 
a cooler cabinet. It's a bit like the type of thing you'd see in a in a grocery store. And they've got a cooker as well here, and a lovely kitchen island, which is in the centre of the main part of the apartment. We've got a waste disposal unit, sink, and drawers with cutlery and things in. Uh, waste waste bin there. And even have a dishwasher. So it's handy. And there's a cooker hob as well. We have um, a toaster, a knife block, more cupboards here with utensils in. And above we have these nice slidey cupboards that open upwards. And a coffee maker and a kettle. Another cupboard with glassware in. And as you can see a lovely ocean view out of the condo's window there in front of us. And a nice seating area. Large widescreen television. And these chairs are really comfortable. The um, sofa and a corner unit. And we go into the bedroom. And you've got a lovely king size bed. And in the corner, we have a bathtub as well, which is rather luxurious. And we have a walk-in closet, which is here where you can keep all your clothes and suitcases. And we have a very large, very large bathroom here as well. A bit of an unusual sink uh, because the sink is too far back with a large surface area in front of it. It's a bit weird, but it's quite modern and. Funky sink, we've got a toilet, and we've got lovely towels and flannels they've given us here for washing, and a huge, huge shower with walk-in shower with uh, lots of nice toiletries there. We probably get about five people in here. This shower. And the, another thing about this bathroom is you can come in from both, both sides through, through the bedroom and from the seating and living area. So you don't have to walk right around the whole condo to get there. And we also have a laundry room here with a washing machine and tumble dryer. So you can do your laundry here as well. And we then come out onto the impressive terrace, which is uh, also north, northeast facing, the same way as the beach. We've 
a spectacular ocean view here as well really large terrace and the sun loungers and this left hand side of the terrace looks over Thank you for joining us for our tour of the Run Point Club residences. It was really good to be able to show you the facilities here and our lovely condo. We stayed here for four nights at a cost of about 2,000 US dollars. That's about 500 US dollars per night. And I'll leave the link in the description below if you want to take a look at the information. And we look forward to your company again in the next vlog very soon. Bye.